when you do top down parsing then maybe if you have for example those b then you have to do uh, the same predictions every time you have to predict those s and then you have to predict from the s a b and from the a you have to predict the a and every time you have a b you have to do all those steps again and that's why we can pre-compile those predictions and use an LR0 automaton. So we don't have to do at the same situation the same 10 predictions, uh, but just only one. So uh, this automaton looks a little bit different than our other automatons. And first we have to add a new start symbol, which is S, S1 or something, that goes to our start symbol that's because this start symbol um, can be every can appear on any right hand side and we need a new one that doesn't do this so we start with this new rule and we add a dot that tells us what we already saw so I add a dot before those s before because at the beginning we didn't see any s yet so now i want to do the predictions because i have those s and i want to i can predict that s becomes a b because of this rule and again i draw the dot before the a because i didn't see any a or something and here i can do the same pred uh, predictions for the a again so every time I have, uh, when the dot is before uh, non-terminal, I can do every predict predictions for those non-terminal. So, or I have to do every one of it. So the A can go to a terminal A, and of course the dot is again before the A, and I didn't see anything yet. So that is my first state. Now, what in what can happen when I do a derivation is that I can do I can see a single those terminal A. I can't see any B because it's not um, it's not allowed in the grammar and it's not allowed in the automaton. So I make a new arc with that A, which I could which I expect in this moment. So it could happen that I see an A, and what happens now is I can move those dot over that A. So I get a new state where A derives to A, but I have the dot after that because when I begin here and um, I see an A, I can do I can take this arc and then I'm in this state and I move the dot over that A. So, now I have uh, the dot at the end of the right hand side of a rule. And when that happens, I can go back to where I, um, where I uh, first encountered this rule. So that was here, that is the beginning of the rule. And I got this rule when predicting an A. So when I saw those terminal A, I underwent to the state. And that means that this one prediction is fulfilled and I get the non-terminal A. So I get, draw a new A where I already saw those A. And now I get a new state where I can move those dot over that A. So I get S with A and B and the dot between A and B because I saw an A and so I moved the dot from from before the A to between A and B. So now those dot is before the B and I have to do all the predictions for the B. And that is again, well I have this rule where B derives to S but of course I didn't see the B yet, I didn't see those S yet. I have to do another prediction for the B because it, I 
may have to use this rule where b becomes terminal b. And now I have those dot in front of an s and I have to do all the predictions for that s again. So I have to add s goes to a and b with the dot before a and b. And now I have to do all the predictions again for that a, which is luckily only one, where a becomes small a. So I hope I didn't left out any new predictions I can make in this situation. And then my, my uh, new state is ready. So now I have to... I can get, have several cases. For example, I could see the uh, terminal A again, and well, that would give me the same like like this state. Um, I can draw the the ar arrow to this state because if I'm here, I have to go back where I came from. So when I reach the state from here, I have to go back here, and when I when I'm here and I so all those terminal A and when T then I have to go back to this so it doesn't really matter. So um, let's take the next one. I could have this um well when I oh sorry I forgot the A. So when I encountered the terminal A at this situation and I came back here then I then those rule is fulfilled and I will get a uh, non-terminal A, and then have to go back again to this one, where I made those prediction for the rule. And when I get uh, non-terminal A, I have I can again move those dot over those A. And well, as you will see, um, that, that is the same one as I did here. So I would write down this rule where I um, where I moved the dot over the A and I would have to do all those predictions and that would be the same same state like this so I can shorten this when while uh, drawing those uh, loop and draw an A like it so every time I got an A I'm I just stay in the state so, but I can have another situation for another, for example, I could um, encounter a terminal B. For that I need another state where I move the dot over that B and that gives me this state. If I would have several several rules with a B in front of it and I, with a terminal B in front of it and I would have to move the dots over all of them. So, well, let me let me maybe give you an example. Um, maybe if I had another rule, for example, well, B goes to. Oh, I wanted to do take another color, but it doesn't look um, different enough. So, for example, if I had a rule, B goes to B B or BA doesn't really matter then I would have to add it here again so sorry B dot A so I hope you got the idea of it so it those didn't belong to the solution so in this case as a dot is again at the end of the right hand side then this then I would have to go back here and I got a, a non-terminal B and I need a new arc for that case. So when I got a new um, non-terminal B then I would, um, well, I can move this dot over this position and I would get those new state with A and B. And the dot at the end of it. And in this case, I 
Well, let me have a look. I um, this came from that state. As you can see, this rule here's the dot at the end, and here's the dot at the beginning. So this rule is where I have um, everything encountered that I wanted to see here. So in this case, I may get uh, I may get uh, uh, those uh, non-terminal s. So I need another state from here or an arc from here where I encountered those s here. So I had to go back and I got the s and I could move the dot over those s. So that would give me the new start symbol. With the, with the S on the right hand side, the former start symbol. And this would be my my final state. Because this is my new, um, this was my new start symbol and this was the old start symbol. And, well, I made this prediction that I want to see everything that's derivable from the start symbol. So it would be a word in the language. And when I got this S, so I can move to the state, and that is my final state because I encountered a word that was in the that was in the language. But I can have another case. Um, well, because if I if I would use this rule and come to the state and come here, then I um, I would get the S, but I would have to move back here. So I already, so I again need another arc where I encounter an S from here. And I have to move it over this dot. So that's the, uh, well, let me draw that first. So this is from that rule where I Oh, sorry, we yeah, move the dot over dot s, and I have the dot at the end of this b, and that's the reason why I needed to add another a new um, start symbol uh, because this this whole start symbol gives me uh, the the final state. And um, this start symbol that was just part of another derivation that don't that don't bring me to the final state. So I need to add this this one as well. So and if I have um, take care of all the cases that I can have, that then I am done.